If you're planning to travel on this Thursday morning, there's a chance that your flight could be canceled. Boeing 737 MAX 8s and 9s are officially grounded across the country after two crashes involving those jets months apart. Investigators are still trying to figure out why those two planes crashed. Yesterday, the United States became the last major country in the world to ground all Boeing 737 MAX jets. President Trump made the announcement days after an Ethiopian Airlines MAX 8 crashed, killing all 157 people on board, including eight Americans. That was the same plane that Lion Air was flying when its jet crashed in Indonesia back in the fall. We need to see how, how similar or dissimilar is this one than that one. Those black boxes are key, and they should have been analyzed two days ago. And, of course, those black boxes are now in France to be analyzed. Boeing promised an urgent fix to flight control software amid reports of at least five complaints about the MAX jets. The grounding affects 270 flights daily here in the United States. And grounding the, pla the planes will have a big financial impact on Boeing, of course. Also, the three uh, U.S. carriers that fly those jets, American, Southwest, and United. And for that part of the story, we want to bring in Spencer McGowan of the McGowan Group Asset Management in Dallas. So Spencer, thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. All right. Uh, I'm sure you were watching the boards yesterday when the announcement came out that the MAX 8 will be grounded in the United States. What did you immediately see with, with, with the stocks of, of those carriers, American Southwest especially? Well, you know, the start of the week, they were getting pounded. When they said 737, I think a lot of us thought, oh, my God, that's like 10,000 planes, right? The, the MAX makes up 74 planes in the U.S., so the impact's about like a blizzard, you know, when we, when we do the economic impact analysis. The stocks this morning in pre-market trading, they're up about a half a percent, Southwest and American. Then we look at Boeing, they're down about a half a percent. And Boeing just got hammered, of course, all week long. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that, that, that Boeing is not down lower because we still don't have the answers as to is, is there a fatal flaw with the 737 MAX 8? Well, they're going to have to change out some things. The key is that the original 737 fleet, the 10,000 planes, there hasn't been an issue there. So this is, this is a fix, but it takes Boeing's momentum away, and it's certainly something Southwest and American don't need at this point, mm -hmm. the disruption. Uh, the share prices, you know, if you look at American Airlines, it's half price from its peak last year. Southwest is down about 30 percent, fuel costs going up. This is a disruption, and of course, the team members that own the stock, you know, this takes away a lot of the momentum because the travel industry was golden for about three or four years. Mm -hmm. What do you think those two are carriers, American and Southwest, what's their message to investors? Well, at, at this point, it's manageable. It's like a bad blizzard. They'll reroute some things. They're going to have some disagreements with Boeing, I would think, because those are about $120 million a plane. Yeah. Uh, Southwest has got 34 of them. So it's a disruption and, you know, the break in momentum for the stocks. Uh, this says that, you know, it's, it's probably a, a continued bear market for the stocks themselves and the earnings. It's a drag on earnings as well. All right, Spencer McGowan, thanks so much for joining in on the conversation. We appreciate it. Thank you.